People notice how you dress, and they will judge you on your choices. It's an undeniable truth about human psychology. First impressions matter, and yes, how you dress plays a pivotal role in shaping those impressions. Whether it's for a job interview, a date, or just your daily interaction, the clothes you choose say a lot about you before you even speak a word. Let's explore how different outfits can evoke varied perceptions and judgments, and how you can harness this knowledge to your advantage. Imagine you're walking alone in a dimly lit alley at night, your pockets full of cash. Suddenly, you encounter three different men, each dressed distinctly. First, a man in a crisply tailored suit, clean shoes, holding a briefcase. Next, a man in dirty jeans, spiked boots, bald head and a leather jacket. Lastly, a man in shorts, sandals, Pikachu t-shirt and swim goggles. How do you feel about each of them based on their appearance alone? Interestingly, without knowing anything else about these individuals, our minds race to conclusions. The man in the suit, likely seen as harmless, a professional perhaps. The bald man with a leather jacket probably scared you. He's dressed like we expect someone who was violent might dress if he were going to be in a dark alley. Even if we don't know any muggers personally, we have an idea of what we think they look like from the media. The Pikachu man probably scared you too for a different reason. He might be crazy, unpredictable, or otherwise mentally unbalanced. Logically, there's no reason to be wearing goggles in a dark alley. The purpose of this was to put you inside a woman's head. This helps us understand part of her thought process when she looks at how you dress. She knows that your clothes didn't fall on you by accident. You made a choice to wear these clothes, and she will use that information to make assumptions about you. She will make implicit assumptions about you without even realizing it. Before she even really notices you, she may already think you are boring, creative, or trying too hard. She is going to assume that you behave and live a lifestyle similar to those of other men she has met who dress in a similar way. She is going to draw on stereotypes from the media and assume that you live like or are trying to live like characters who dress in a similar way. Judging your appearance by what you're wearing is a human instinct, one that women, just like men, use to navigate social interactions. The clothes you choose are a form of communication, signaling aspects of your personality, intentions, and even your lifestyle. So how you dress is unbelievably important. Dressing well becomes not just about looking good, but about intentional self-presentation for her interpretation. Some things are up to individual taste, situation, and budget. But here are some rules you must follow. Make sure your clothes are nice and clean, always. Vintage or ripped clothes can be fashionable, if done right, but dirty clothes never are. This is especially important for your shoes. Women notice shoes. Make sure you're always wearing a nice pair of clean shoes. Wear clothes that fit properly. You might think it's casual or cool, but it's just slovenly and sloth, one of the seven deadly sins. Don't be too boring. If you dress the same as everyone else, she will assume you're like everyone else, which would be a shame, because after all, you stand out from the pack of boring losers. Don't overdo your outfit. If you have a couple of pieces that stand out, for example, a cool shirt and jacket, then don't wear pants that get too much attention. This will detract from the look you're trying to put together. Dress appropriately for your body type. If you're overweight, don't wear tight t-shirts. If you have nice pecs, show it off with your clothes, but not too much. Clothes that are too tight went out of trend long time ago. Dress to fit a stereotype. Have a look. She is going to make judgments about you based on how you dress. So dress in a way that helps her make the judgment you want. For example, if you're a musician, dress like one, but make sure it look nice, 
so you don't look like a starving musician. If you want to communicate success, wear a nice suit. But if you don't want her to think you're too boring, try some jewelry. If you want to portray an adventurous, interesting guy, wear graphics and colors. But don't be that guy in the sandals and Pikachu t-shirt. Dress not for the job you have, but for the job you want. Applies to women as well. Dress like a guy who gets beautiful women and you will get beautiful women. Dress like a chode and you will get the results of a chode. Whether you are young or old, rich or poor, creative or traditional, you need to work on your look. Talk to girls and look at guys who have the identity you want to convey and copy what they are doing until you develop your own sense of personal style. 